This is Achilles. Achilles is a great horned owl. This is the largest species of native owl that we typically see here in Colorado. We do get the snowy owl here once in a while, but these guys live here all the time. And our great horned owls, I think, are really, really neat birds. These guys have very, very powerful, powerful feet. Zygodactyl toes, two in the front, two in back. You can rotate this outer toe then to have three in front and one in back and that helps them grip their prey. These guys can take uh, anything smaller than them, essentially um, even raccoons and skunks, mice, rats, reptiles, amphibians, um, other birds. So they're, they're a very versatile hunter um, as well as opportunistic. So when the opportunity presents itself and they think, yeah, that's probably something I could catch, they're gonna try to catch it. Things on top of his head are called plumicorns. They're just tufts of feathers. So even though he's called a great horned owl, they're not actually horns, they're just feathers. They're soft. He has a very, very large beak, very powerful beak for uh, killing his prey, but as well as crushing so that he can eat his food. And huge eyes. His eyes are not round like our eyes are. They're more of a light bulb shape. And that shape allows for lots and lots of rod cells in his eyes. Rod cells are what pick up light. Cone cells pick up color. Owls, as far as we know, see uh, more in grayscale, might see some basic primary colors, uh, but really have vision and foresee in the dark. So his eyes are very, very powerful, but he's mostly using his ears for hunting. This bird is crepuscular, which means mostly active dawn and dusk, so twilight time. And he needs to rely on that facial disc where his ears are, those feathers, um, to be able to filter sound into those ears, which are asymmetric. So one's a little higher, one's a little lower. So he can use triangulation or pinpoint exactly where a sound is coming from, um, moving his head around and, and turning and hoping to filter in sound. And they are nicknamed the Hoot Owl for good reason. He does hoot the sound that you hear, especially in um, December and January when these guys are pairing up. You'll see um, them hanging out maybe on the top of a tree or even on top of your roof. They're very good to have around because they're helping our ecosystem stay in balance. And great horned owls live all throughout the United States here. And we'll see them in the cities, in the desert, in the forests, and on the prairies all over the place. So this is our great horned owl, Achilles.